have questions? How do you react to this uh, extremely interesting synthesis? Mm -hmm. um. Should we go along the questions? I would like to add a question. That is, what will be the red thread or the the, the overarching concept that's going to uh, help you crystallize all the actions and all the discourse uh, to, in order to better make this uh, transition? in the wider questions, because I think that's somewhere where most talks about transition lose the idea of leaving kind of an overarching um, moral driver that drives wider cultural change. So thank you. Two methodological points. Uh, I'd love to have a couple of um, insights from the other people in the research team to, to get to kick us off. And also I would like to have back the Twitter wall because it's a very interesting conversation going on. It's been going very well for, throughout the conference. You have finished with uh, slides. Um, actually, I, I have some additions. Um, at least to me, uh, the uh, goals of these sessions of this particular session uh, were really not clear uh, because I thought that not only we are going to get the guidance from the edge writers about the main ideas for the report but also the ideas about the structure because we still don't have a clear framework for the report so there is still no clear structure so my question is how we are going to proceed with it. Do you have any suggestions yourself? Um, actually, I already made a structure for my report. Uh, it's for my part of the report. It's on the making the living. And I sent it to other researchers, but I got no response. Feel free to explain to the audience, you know, the framework you use, the approach you had. You okay. Um, so first, uh, this is not a standard kind of report written for the policymakers. It has to have really this collective input and some broader context. Um, because all these chapters are going to be very short, very short considering all these regions of the materials we got from your vision reports. Um, I really want to be very clear and very structured. Uh, I divided my chapter on making the living in uh, four sub-chapters. Um, first of them is an elaboration of the edge writer's perspective on unemployment, employment, or making a living in general. Um, regarding some areas of youth life that are particularly affected by their professional status. Um, then I want to give very short explanations of the current employment policies and practices. Very, very short, because this is not a point of your support. Um, next sub-chapter is directed at identification of the gaps between the age rider's perspective and the official uh, policy in the area of employment. And the last sub-chapter actually brings the proposals for the guidance from the age riders. Um, also, I wanted to make 
uh, very general introduction regarding some course section of issues like uh, specific characteristics of this new generation, generation of clash, uh, peer-to-peer uh, peer -peer learning, uh, reinvention of yourself, and so on. Uh, Dunya, can I, can I interrupt you? Yeah. Okay, I want to ask you something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, so what's, what's the big question, that, I mean, what's a question that you have in your head that you, you still don't feel you have an answer to after having read all this stuff? Because I feel like we're talking around the, what, what do you feel that you still want to know or need to get your head around this? Um, well, I think that in order to uh, have this report truly usable, and in order to have this report recognized by the policymakers, it has to have some kind of clear structure uh, in all chapters. So we have to uh, synchronize somehow to cooperate. Uh, I mean, to cooperate on it. So I don't mean the report itself. I mean, you've read the stuff. So your question, like in your head, sitting here, you want an answer, and you're like, uh. Is there one? I mean, my main question is how each of us is going to proceed uh, with the chapters. Dunya, Dun there, is, there, is a meeting, there is a meeting with all the researchers after the conference. I don't know if anybody have told you before. Oh, no, I didn't But uh, uh, we are meeting uh, uh, at 5 or 5.30. So we will have time among ourselves. Yeah, but for and I think Barbara is leaving, and Barbara doesn't have this info. I didn't have it uh, either. I think that there is a, a small problem of communication. Yeah, there uh, is. I really quickly appreciate the group organization and efforts, but I also think that um, if for some or many people the structure of the um, session was not clear enough and, not, and also uh, not enough to be prepared and if we who are in the research team are not informed about this very important <laughs> meeting uh, it's a lost occasion and I'm really very sad for that sorry I say that not in a critical way but really in a constructive way because uh, it's learning by doing always for everyone but uh, I really missed this information about the meeting uh, with the researcher I thought that this was the panel in which we had to discuss. As I, in my opinion, the handbook should also uh, let the voices of the community be heard, not just the stance of the researchers. I thought this was the moment in which we could let uh, this structure come out. So sorry for the misunderstanding. <coughs> yeah. I also, I have to say to support this that I wasn't clear myself whether we were having a moment all together now with the community and the researchers so how that was divided. And also, the thing that I want to, to, to I would like to, to understand uh, as soon as possible is how much uh, our analysis, not talking about specifically my, my, my piece, but in general, how much our analysis is bringing about uh, literature, pieces of literature, and uh, how much is uh, based on this uh, data in respect with the uh, aim of the book. I think, uh, uh, let's put it this way. Okay, there is not a clear structure so far. Let's think together a bit, but could be the structure. And this is, I think, the way of providing room for everybody to be in. And uh, I, I feel sorry if we haven't been clear about the meeting, you know, but it was, you know, when I saw Rebecca's synthesis that uh, I, we had the idea that it might be worthy to discuss after the, 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 the conference. Okay, so let's put it this way, that there is no clear structure so far, that there was a great effort on your side and on Valentina's and everybody's side to synthesize the data and to compare with the conventional policies. But now, let's provide us with a space for discussion. So, what do you think could be the structure? Are you happy with, uh, you know, uh, 
Yes, uh, Valentina's but let's, let's build yeah. something. I have okay. a question for the community. I would like to, to, to ask some member of the community. Sorry. I'd like to ask some of the members of the community whether they, they feel uh, recognized in this picture because I would, uh, but um, we, uh, me and Rebecca have tried to look at all the material in the platform. So we also imagine that any of the user is more proficient on some of the section in the platform. I don't think there is somebody who has uh, written everything. So I would like to, to ask whether you feel you can recognize yourself in this picture. Hi, I, um, I thought that it was great. I, I, I imagine that your job is extremely difficult to try and collect a vast <laughs> array of things written by all kinds of different people on often quite disparate topics. And I did feel uh, that my own contributions and things I've read from other people were extremely well put together into a more coherent narrative. I don't personally feel too worried about the structure because I trust you that the things that we discuss uh, you will uh, facilitate into a, a much more kind of coherent narrative that will be specifically useful for policy makers and I'm okay with that. Um, I don't know how everybody else feels. I, I wanted to say that um, on the education point, um, I, I think that the, the, the education part of the report is extremely important because it's, it's basically the principal way in which our, the people who govern us affect our, our lives and future career prospects. I, um, we're always told that education is supposed to prepare us for work, so at the moment in my own country, we're being told by politicians all the time that education doesn't prepare us for work. Uh, although it's kind of weird because with our current employment market, if it was to, we'd get rid of English and maths and start learning about shelf stacking and not answering back. I think. <laughs> <laughs> something really amazing from a British politician from about 50 years ago where um, he, uh, who, who uh, is somebody I think is really great, but he said that in 10 or 20 years time we will have no idea how our society will be structured, we don't know which technologies we will rely on very heavily and so education, if it does anything, must focus on a core value of teaching creative thinking, teaching us how to ask better questions together uh, and how to evaluate the answers between us, not a linear education into employment model. And I would like to see the report say something about that, about how we don't need to talk about the state teaching us specific skills, we need to talk about the state facilitating us uh, in our discussions, how to ask better questions and find better answers. I propose to, to, to shift the focus of this. The report, as, as you rightly said, is really about getting uh, professional policy makers to be carried through the sort of message, right? Mm -hmm. So, for example, on Twitter somebody was asking, why do we use a transition handbook lingo? Because that's taken, right? The transition handbook movement has something called the transition handbook, and that's what it is. The reason is that the transition of youth is accepted policy lingo at the European Commission and we are going to speak their language because this is where the, the change gets made, okay? So our research team, their job is to make this stuff understandable for people who have doing, they've been doing this for all their lives and they're professional policy makers at that level. Now we, the rest of you are probably not very interested in this, uh, in this uh, particular exercise you're more interested in content as per your suggestion. So what, what are we pulling out? And Rebecca has given us a, a, a synthesis. So I would probably propose to shift the focus on to is there anything you don't agree, you can't live with uh, in what uh, Rebecca has said? Is there something that's burningly missing? Mm. Uh, 
Um, I think the maybe the problem we're butting up against here is the one that we're it's, it, it's the subject of the book and it's the subject of this conversation, which is decision making, distributed people, and trying to deal with an internet community of a lot of people and a, and a physical community of people in a room. Right? It's easy to have a conversation and agree decisions in a room with a small number of people. That becomes difficult when you're producing a book with 110 people. And I don't have the time personally to read everything and offer the best possible critique and knowledge and expertise that I could. I would love to. I want to be able to be facilitated to do that easily and to have a decision-making process about where I agree with other people's proposals, which we seem to lack in this room. We can clap when we like what someone says. Why aren't we using, um, why aren't we using like consent decisions making jazz hands? That would really help me out. Twitter is doing it a little bit, but lots of people in the room aren't on Twitter. I'm not on Twitter half the time because my battery ran out. So there doesn't seem to be an agreed decision-making process within edge writers, and that seems to be a really I'm sorry, that's a misunderstanding here. We are not making decisions. We are exploring stuff. Sure. So the decisions get made at the level. Here's where your, your top down and the bottom up comes out. In the end, we have to, you know, to stand for the report, and we make the decision on what is in that report. However, we welcome input. So if you, you, this is why we have this presentation. You, we appreciate nobody reads 400 mission reports and 3,000 comments, so you have a synthesis. Sure. Can you live with it, or, do, or, or are you like, no, 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 this is, not me. this is not me at all, then if it's not you at all, then what you can say so on the basis of what's being said so far, right? What, what I'm saying is, I, I agree, I, I trust you a lot. Not completely, though, because